Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car themed one. It's actually going to be have four cars on it. This is the most cars I've done on one canvas. Um, I'm doing a 24 by 24 and it's going to be in my mudding series. So my idea came to me Oh, I don't remember when it actually came to me, but it came to me one day and I wanted to do a square, a square one, a fairly good size one. And I wanted to have, I was going to do a couple of cars, a couple of muddy, I'm going to do the mudding cars. So I was going to do like a Bronco and a Jeep, you know, so, and then I was going to have them kind of coming and spinning around like this. But I ended up, I thought, well, maybe three would work better, would look better. And so I was trying to design three and it actually, the way the design that I, it didn't look right. So the only way that I, I think it's going to look right, I, I, I drew it out and it was going to be, I was going to need four cars for it. I actually had three picked out and so I had to pick out a fourth one. And uh, fortunately I had a couple to choose from. I did have this little, I did have this little VW bug kind of, but I think it's too, I mean, if it was maybe the full size bug, this is kind of a scrunched up, almost toyish, even though this is a toy, it's almost toyish looking, if you know what I mean, uh, cartoonish, I don't know what you want to call it, but so I found a pickup. So the four cars that we're going to use, I got them here. They're all Hot Wheels, so they're all right here. So this is a Bronco and a Jeep Cherokee, a Jeep Scrambler, and then a Chevy Silverado, a 19, Trail Boss. So those are the four cars we're gonna go with. Now I kind of wish this one was green or one of these was red, so I'd have two green, two red, or four green, I don't. So it's going to be a dark green, a light green, a camo, and a red. So it'll be all right. So in my mudding series that I've done, a number of, they're very popular. And I got a big show coming up in a few weeks. So I wanted to get this one done. So I had it there. So hopefully somebody will purchase it. If not, I got another, a couple other big shows coming up after that. So I went with a 24 by 24 canvas. I've got white as the background. The white I'm using is, of course, Artist Loft, just white. And then the four browns, excuse me, three browns I'm using are all in the Hobby Lobby. I think it's the Hobby Lobby brand, the Master's Touch. One's, one's a fine touch, but it's the same as Master's Touch. But I'm gonna use a Burnt Umber and then a red ochre right there. And then a raw sienna. As you can see, I got that one on clearance for 74 cents. Goodbye. So I've already got all these mixed up, all the paints. Let me, hold on, let me put those up, get them out of the way. So I've already got a mixed. I've already got the white paint down on the canvas. So all we have to do is adjust the camera and we can get started. And I'll kind of explain the design as we go. All right, so I don't have a very good tripod, so my you're not gonna get quite all of this on there. Such a big canvas, it's hard to get it up high enough to be able to get all of it. So I got it about as best we can go. So about from my, half of my fingers are at the edge of the, edge of that and I don't know where that's at it's you're going to miss part of the top too but you'll get the basic design it's going to be more in the middle anyway so what we're going to do is I'm going to come across here kind of go in we go across here go in go across here go in go here across here and in so they're all be converging onto the middle so let's get started with the dark.
hair in there. And of course, it's not going to be perfect, but
smaller smaller little air dryer.
one car out just to see so put that there put there one here and that one here kind of all converging all right this is dried it did drift off a little bit here because it was the brown was here so it drifted off this way and this one drifted this way a little bit but we're still going to use it we're going to work with it uh, so I've got the cars here, so I think I'm going to put this one like right here, I'm gonna put this one here, this one here, and we're going to have this one right in there. So they're all kind of converging on each other, kind of yeah, about right there. So that's about where we're going to place them. This is a 24 by 24 canvas. So I looked it up on Art Resin Calculator because I wasn't sure how much resin I should use. And it said 20 ounces. So I have 10 of the hardener and 10 of the epoxy. And I'm using Pro Marine resin. I've got the back taped. And I've cleaned off my table. And because uh, it was building up on the cardboard cores that I set my canvas on to resin. There was a lot of buildup on it, so it was kind of uneven in spots. And it was really sticking to the back of the canvas, trying to peel it off. So I finally got some extras from work. They just throw them away, so it's not like I'm stealing anything. So don't, don't think I'm stealing from work. They print out labels, and this is the... This is the cardboard core that's on the, kind of like your toilet toilet paper roll, the cardboard core in the, in the center that you just throw away when, the, when you run out of toilet paper. That's what we do when we run out of tags in the printer. So we throw those away. And so I collect them and I use them. So I'm going to get this stuff moved around, hold on to this as long as I can. Because it is 
not as stable since the the last cardboard cores were stuck to the table. Well, the plastic on the table, the garbage bags is what they really were. That's what they were. So they did move like this is. So I'm moving this, holding on to the corner as long as I can until I get it pretty much covered. resin on my shirt but this is my paint shirt so it's not really gonna matter Bubbles out of this thing. <clears throat> this may take a while. Try speed up this part of the video. This is boring. the first car right there second car we're gonna go right there car will go right there Yeah, that's a little better. I was trying to go with where the tracks were, how they're showing the tracks I put in there. Actually, this one is right there. I might have to do that. That's kind of like it slid. Maybe this one I can do more like that. All right. So I think that one is a done deal and I think it's good. All right, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this. Was this too busy, too much, too many cars? Uh, is it a bad pattern? Let me know what you think. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.